Okay, let's talk about the GRE, and specifically we're going to be talking about mathematics uh, component of that exam. And if you're watching this video, I assume you already know what the GRE is. It's just, it's basically, as you well know, um, I'm sure, uh, a uh, standardized test that it's kind of like your SAT or ACT test for graduate school. Now, if you're going to a business school, like getting your MBA, that type of thing, then you're likely going to be taking the GMAT. Uh, but uh, they're pretty similar. Um, well, there's differences, but basically, if you're going to be doing something other than uh, business, you know, like getting a, a, an advanced degree in electrical engineering or something like that, then you're going to be looking at uh, the GRE. So we're going to be talking about the math component of the GRE and why math is more important than ever. I'm likely going to be telling you things that you probably already know because, um, uh, you know, if you're looking at, um, you know, going to graduate school, you know, majority of people who go to graduate school already have professional experience. So this is probably going to resonate with you big time what I'm going to be talking about. Now, if you're um, finishing up your undergrad studies then going right off to graduate school you don't have any direct work experience then you know you might find this insightful but either way if you're taking the GRE you need to really um, put extra emphasis on math even if you've done well in math and it's been some uh, years you got to really uh, review and um, you know, know your math, not only for the GRE, for graduate school, but beyond. So with that being said, um, we're going to get going. I'm going to um, just highlight a few things here um, about mathematics um, and, uh, to kind of like heighten your awareness of why you want to put the extra effort in. If you're studying for the GRE and you need some additional help with math, I have a specific GRE math course. My background is a uh, math teacher, so I taught from sixth grade all the way through college, and I have an advanced degree as well, so I know all about it. Uh, but I have a very comprehensive GRE math course. Uh, I'll leave the link in the description of this video if you're interested. Also, I have lots and lots of videos on my YouTube channel that if you like my teaching style, then uh, you can certainly benefit um, from. So with that being said, let's get into it. So why is math so uh, is more important than ever? Well, if you um, uh, heard of this term, right, data, okay, that should just tell you everything. Data is being generated at such high levels in uh, today's business world and just in today's world anywhere. Data collection and everything else in the hottest, one of the hottest uh, careers going is data science. Okay, uh, these these folks are, are in desperate um, need. They just can't get enough of these type of people. So, a data scientist. Now, I'm not trying to uh, promote uh, the fact that hey, you should become a data scientist. That's what this is not what this is about. However, these people are going to be in great demand. You want to think about okay, how can you up your skill set so you can interact in in uh, in a company in business, right? So, managing data which is just more and more and more of is going to take a highly analytical you know mind okay so the more you can develop that and it's an aptitude yes you know we all have kind of a natural uh, talents and whatnot some people are better at writing others are more you know uh, you know better at mathematics and science but listen in the real world everybody if you're a professional you're gonna have to work with um, with data charts you know, analysis, the whole nine yards, especially if you're, you know, you know, anything you're doing, okay, that has to do with uh, counting things, analyze things, trends, and all that kind of stuff, you're going to be working with data. And it's, it's just, it's, it's so, um, this, this is so in demand right now, and it's just growing exponentially. Matter of fact, I just saw another article, and the date of this uh, video is in August, um, August 2019, but I'm just telling you this is just going to get more and more prevalent. Um, so I saw an article recently about Goldman Sachs. I'm sure you know who those are, uh, uh, a bank on Wall Street, that they are not really looking to hire new traders. So it's like, oh, I want to, you know, be a trader. I want to go on Wall Street. What they're hiring is people with coding skills, <laughs> computer science backgrounds, and this is the way things are going. So the emphasis on uh, mathematics, 
technology, you know, especially your core skills, data, you know, analysis skills, which is essentially mathematics, plus your, um, well, your analysis skills would be different because it's, you're kind of combining your knowledge of math plus your ability to use software like Excel and other type of things and some basic coding skills, you know, you're going to be extremely competitive, you know, uh, in, in the workforce. So for the GRE, yeah, you might look at your math like, oh, I got to brush up my math just to do well on the exam. But yeah, I think you should really take a long term um, view of not only learning math, but, you know, you know, keeping your analytical skills strong and getting stronger at them, doing some extra work, you know, uh, investing in your education. Now, you remember, you're going to go into, um, at least from my experience, um, and I'm a business owner as well. You know, the school doesn't teach you everything, as you well you know. You're going to have to invest in yourself. You have to figure out what's important. You cannot go wrong by learning more, um, you know, learning more math, learning more computer coding, those type of things. So anything that gives you the ability to work with data, um, you know, you're going to do. You just, you're good. It's going to be a win-win for you. So with that being said, um, you know, the GRE pretty much you're going to be uh, tested at like kind of the college algebra level. Let's just kind of look at this real quick. College algebra, pretty much your well, everything you learned in a college prep uh, curriculum in high school, right? So that would pretty much be like algebra two and geometry. So you really have to know that super strong. So if you know these two, you know, core um, uh, topics really well, that's you know you're you got all you know a really strong foundation that's not going to be 100 percent enough because you're going to um you know certainly want to pick up a gre study guide get used to the test uh format the the, the questions etc but you know doing practice tests and, and things like that you know it's not going to be effective unless you really have that strong foundation so my suggestion for you is to go back relearn you know all your fundamental math skills um, at this level. If you do that, then start studying, you know, get into some sort of GRE program. Do the best you can because obviously it's going to um, have a direct effect on what type of schools you can get into, you know, which is, you know, I'm sure you're looking at, you know, uh, different schools and whatnot. And your GRE scores are going to be uh, a big component to that. So with that being said, you know, if you're struggling with math, the best way to learn math is not just from a book, okay? Because if that was the case, we wouldn't even have teachers, right? <laughs> Students would just sit down and somebody would come in and hand uh, everybody a book, and that would be that. So the fastest way, the most effective way to really strengthen your math skills is to get connected with a teacher that you like and understand. Now, if you like my style, I have a really strong uh, curriculum course laid out for this material. Again, the link's in the description. But if that's not the case, find some other program out there that's, you know, video-based because we have technology today. That's, for, most, for the most part, that's the quickest way to kind of review, quickly review the things that you think you already know and then go back and relearn as much as you can. Okay, and of course, you're going to have to work within the time frame that you're looking at the more time you have to um, learn this stuff, the better. So with that being said, let me go and wrap up this video. I don't want to keep drawing this out, but I just can't stress this enough. I know a lot of people in a professional world that, um, you know, really is stress, stressing data science, analytics, uh, um, c computer programming, all that stuff. They really can't find enough qualified people. So. Um, you know, you can't go wrong with math. You never can. So anyways, I want to um, wish you all the best on a GRE. If you need um, help, okay, I literally have hundreds of videos on my YouTube channel. Ho hopefully consider subscribing um, in algebra and geometry. That will really serve you well. Again, um, I'll leave the uh, course link uh, for my GRE uh, math course in the description of this video. And if you enjoyed this, you know, if you got something out of it, I would could uh, definitely appreciate a thumbs up. And leave me some feedback. Let me know how your, you know, uh, preparations going for the GRE and how things might be changing, or if you're seeing, you know, what trends you might be seeing in your career field and how maybe mathematics is playing into, you know, what you want to do. Even if you're you're going for a particular career, whatever it might be, I'm just 
I'll, I'll tell you right now, even if it's liberal arts or whatever, the stronger analytical skills you have, um, the better off you're going to be. You just never know when you're going to have them. I'm just, it's going to be out there. So be ready for it. But with that being said, I definitely appreciate your time. And uh, all the best on the GRE. And have a great day.